Continuing coverage, a new chapter in the drama over the attempted recall of a local school board member. Matthew Smith was censured after pleading guilty to making a malicious phone call. A petition to remove him from the Davison School Board needs enough signatures to take effect. But as TV5's Kendall Keys reports, Genesee County officials are taking a closer look at a potential case of petition fraud stemming from that recall effort. Attempts to recall Matthew Smith from his seat on the Davison Board of Education hitting a roadblock after an alleged fraudulent signature made its way onto the petition. The Davison Township clerk says his former opponent, Morgan Jackson, is at the center of it. My opponent in the special election um, has not only condemned fraud, but openly participated in it when she knew that her husband signed a recall petition with a fictitious name and then went as far as to go on Facebook and bragged about it. Janessa Phillips, the petition sponsor, says she has evidence that confirms it. A few of Matt Smith's political allies do not want to see him recalled. This includes Morgan Jackson. On December 16, 2021, for reasons unknown, she changed her Facebook profile from her legal name, Morgan Jackson, to the name of Ray Reinbold. The Committee for School Board Integrity provided TV5 with a screenshot of a since-deleted comment from the account Ray Reinbold, who Phillips says is actually Jackson. The comment reads, quote, My husband signed it with a fake name. It is now illegitimate. I obviously do know how it works, hint why he signed it with a fake name, end quote. There's also a photo of the alleged fake signature. The signature was collected by a volunteer at a band concert at Davison High School. Genesee County Clerk John Gleason calls it fraud and punishable by law. We want these characters to be charged to the highest extent of the law. Gleason also ties the attempt back to Matthew Smith. You can see who they are and how they're associated and affiliated with. This is all because of that March 5th one o'clock morning call to the uh, Jennifer Kelly up in the clerk of Houghton. Gleason says he contacted the Secretary of State's office with the evidence. In Davison, Kendall Keyes, WNEM TV5. In a statement, Matthew Smith tells TV5, quote, I never instructed anyone to sign any recall petition. When I was made aware that the recall organizers were circulating petitions on school grounds, I contacted my superintendent immediately. He confirmed it was against school policy.